Right, hello. This is the devlog for the Grappling Hook game, which is obviously a working title. I hope that's obvious. <laughs> and this is where... this actually isn't where we're at with it. I'm going back to a slightly earlier version, because I've made loads of progress in the last week and a bit. Um, mainly, I have decided to show the game at Indicade East, um, which I'm, I'm going there mostly just to have a holiday in New York, but uh, they have a show-and-tell thing where anyone can show anything. So uh, I booked myself a slot in that, and I'm going to show... This and Heat Signature, the two games I'm working on, and um, ask people to tell me whether, which one I should focus on, which one they like more, and kind of see which, how they're both doing. So, what that means is it suddenly clarifies very well for you what your game still needs to be a game. Because, <laughs> you know, I've shown you this in five other videos now, and um, it's a cool kind of thing to play around with, but it isn't a game yet. And so, if showing it in in public to strangers, you would have to explain a lot about what you're supposed to be doing, how you play it, and all that kind of stuff, and there's no motive or anything here, you just mess around, you know. Someone could play this and never discover there's a grappling hook in it. <laughs> so, um, I've put in the main mechanical change I've made, well I've made loads, but the biggest one is, I kept saying I was going to do something with grappling hooks that um, I hadn't put in yet, um, like something in particular other than swinging around. And I'll show you what this is now. You might see there's a white square that used to be there, a white cuboid. I can now shoot my grapple into that, and it's another character, and I can yank them around the same way I would yank myself around. So the grappling hook is a thing you can shoot into other into um, other characters and mess around with them and help them up onto buildings. So this isn't necessarily co-op. I don't know whether it will be multiplayer or not. Um, that just depends on how hard multiplayer is to do. But even if it's going to be single player only, I want multiple characters and I want you to be able to cooperate with them using your grappling hook and swing them around <laughs> just as you would like to be swung yourself and help them onto the buildings. So that's just the mechanical part of it. And now, let me use... I'm now using proper version control, so I should be able to just go straight to... Yeah, this is the latest version. So now you... Let's actually maximize this, because I can do that now. Um, so you're two different people, and only one of you has a grappling hook, the other player has no grappling hook. And so the grappling hook person has to, you can now aim your grappling hook, so you can kind of see where it's going to fire. This is very handy. And you can zoom in and out, which is also very handy. And the other player does have a purpose. It's very, very fucking awkward to um, actually get close enough to an edge that you can shoot down. I need to change where the grappling hook comes from, because it shouldn't come from the center of your being. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to pull up the other character and da, 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 get them to the level of this window and then I'm going to switch to them and break the glass. So <laughs> it makes kind of a shattering noise but technically that's supposed to be a glass cutter so this is a character you can silently cut through glass um, which if you've played Gunpoint you can imagine when that would be useful. In fact there is a, a gadget in Gunpoint for breaking glass quietly and that is the sound effect from it. So I'm trying to get to these gold things. <laughs> I don't know what they are exactly, but they look valuable, don't they? So, uh, I'm going to use Grappling Hook Guy for this. And lower myself down. And... Snatch it. And then get back out. So right now Grappling Hook Guy is the only one with any mobility at all. Um, and... You have to basically rely on uh, there's no like jump or anything, so the grappling hook player has to do pretty much all the mo mobility stuff. But that's kind of fun, I like that. It, it. Also, it's quite awkward. So yeah, it's basically a game about dangling people from ropes and having them break windows. <laughs> or cut through windows. I don't know quite know how, what it's going to look like. What I'd ideally like is for you to cut like a circular hole in the window and then squeeze through it. But obviously that's awkward to um, actually implement. So let's have, go through here and cut the glass from the other side, and then I think, oh man, you can see my building's all like misaligned and messy. Get into the last building, we're going up here, and we can now swing them to the level of the window, break the window, and get in. Ooh, okay, that's good. So you can also move players simultaneously. Because you're kind of, I've changed the controls to be mouse driven, so um, 
if you like, you can give orders the way you would in an RTS, and people will follow them, even when they're not the selected player. I like the grappling hook so much I don't really walk. And then when it's over, <laughs> you get the twist ending. <laughs> you both regret your life of crime. And that is basically it for this build, but now that there's like objectives in it, it starts to feel like a real game, and I kind of am getting a feel for how the players relate to each other, and kind of how the characters, I should say. Um, kind of what that relationship feels like. It feels a lot like the grappling hook person does all the work. <laughs> but they can't get anywhere without the, the glass cutter person. Eventually you will be able to smash windows by swinging yourself into them really hard, which will make the glass cutter person feel even more useless. But um, obviously once the guard's in, that will become a much bigger deal, like you won't want to attract their attention. And it'll be the puzzles in the game will be about, okay, we've got to break that glass silently, how do we get the glass cutter to that location? And then there'll be other characters with other specialities, and um, you'll be kind of... The grappling hook guy is kind of like the logistics character, and has to figure out how to get people to where they need to be. But one of the things, one of the reasons I need to build this prototype and get it working is that I need to know: is that the right way to go about this, or should maybe every character have a grappling hook, and then every character has like a grappling hook and something else? And uh, that's one way to do it. But my current plan is probably just to have a grappling hook specialist, and then have other people have their own specialities. But it's interesting to consider. And now. The actual uh, level thing is over, but I'm going to mess around with how you control these guys. So this one's trying to walk to his destination, and he kind of can because the grappling hook isn't very... Um, it's got a bit of give to it now. Um, accidentally, that's just a mistake due to the like physics forces. But I can also let them try and run towards it. Oh, but you can't quite reach it! <laughs> so your destination is kind of marked in space, but it follows you height-wise. And now that I can zoom out, I can dangle someone into the nether. And if I let them go, they're completely doomed because that character can never get back up. Whereas if I am going to let them go, um, if I fall off, I could just swing beneath the whole level. <laughs> it disturbs me that this is so fun because it makes me think, oh no, oh no, give it back up. Shit. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Look, I'll be back up there within months, easily. Um, yeah, randomly swinging around on a massive scale is really, really good fun. I'm hoping that. Um, because I want most of the game to be more kind of realistic a little bit. Um, or more about, you know, grappling to the top of a building and slowly hauling yourself up and carefully avoiding guards and being stealthy. Um, I'm hoping it'll be occasional moments of extreme drama where you, you know, fall off a building and then um, swing off something else. Um, and that those moments, because they're rarer, will feel more dramatic than if the whole game was completely wacky and crazy. So anyway, that's where I am at the moment. And I will show you more probably not for a while now because this is going to be I mean the next thing to do will be add, to add enemies and fall damage and um, you know actual threats to avoid so um, I'll do that next but I'm probably going to go back to heat signature for a little while to get that ready for Indicate East um, so that might be the next thing I show you